evening. How are y'all? I think I'm lined up straight. Maybe I am. I don't think so. Oh, I know why. <laughs> I bet it wasn't straight. I'm such a dough brain today. Okay. Just going to give it a few seconds, a minute or so, and see if anybody else shows up. And uh, then we're going to get started. Okay. No, this is not my usual night, but um, I couldn't go a while longer without being on here. Hey, Debbie. I'm glad you joined me. Yay. I'm waiting to see if anybody else joins. I think while I'm waiting, I'll kick off these house shoes. They're bothering me. <laughs> in here in my bare feet but it'll be all right okay somebody else did I tell you <laughs> i know i'm hoping that whenever i talk to my daughter that she can help me figure out how to get my laptop back up on my wi-fi on my router i don't know uh last monday when i told you that my laptop didn't have internet uh she said said that our uh, um we have um, charter, and it had went down at some point, and uh, came then came back up a little bit later, and then the next morning it did it again. Well, I still had my internet on my phone at that point, and that's why I went ahead and did my live last week, and I uh, still had it on my desktop. Well, then I lost it on my phone, and uh. <laughs> you know, I hate to use my data up, and um, doing videos really sucks a lot out of it, and um, I have internet at work because uh, I'm savvy to the password, <laughs> not supposed to be, but I am, and uh, but uh, I just wasn't on my phone much at home because I just was going to, I didn't want to use up my data. And that's one of the reasons I didn't do it Monday evening is I still had not figured that part out either. But I was worn out. I'm going to tell you, I was totally, totally worn out Monday. It was a long, long weekend. These Sundays are really tiring me out. And I've got a few more of these to do until I get this new um, head cashier trained. And... Um, but I was so tired that after supper, um, I got in my recliner. I was in my recliner probably before 7. I woke up at some point and piddled around in the kitchen. Hi, Jesse. Oh, hi, little dude. And uh, then it, I would probably didn't piddle around for about 30 minutes and went and got in the bed and slept till nine o'clock on Tuesday morning. I was so tired and but I I slept pretty good so uh, I rested up fairly well. So I'm hoping maybe this that will get me through for a couple of more weeks and before I crash again like that, you know. And anywho, I am prepared and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. And if anybody else comes, they can either watch the replay or they can, um, you know, whatever, whatever. But we're going to start. We're going to do a very, really, really simple card. It's going to say thank you card. We are using several things here. We are using um, a little lace. I'm going to use this uh, stamp right here. We are using the parcel and petals. We're going to use the thank you. And we're using the perfect parcel dies. And we're going to use this die right here. Got the thank you mounted on a B block. I'm using a sponge dauber because I'm using, going to uh, sponge around my sentiment. We're going to use the frosted of the uh, frosted and clear epoxy drops. We're going to use frosted. Uh, Rococo rose ink. Um, here is our, our card base. Yeah, I did. 
and for a minute I did not think that I had scored it, but I had scored it so lightly I couldn't even see it. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. I'm so glad you're here. We're just, just getting started. I'm making a thank you card. So, we're going to go ahead and fold this. This is um, eight and a half, five and a half, score it four and a quarter. And uh, this card's going to go this direction here. Let me get my instructions over here. Here's our envelope. We have a piece of Whisper White that we're going to stamp on. We have several layers for the front. I've cut two pieces of Rococo Rose at uh, five and three eighths by four and an eighth. Two pieces of um, Whisper White Thick. One is at five and a fourth by four, and the other one is at five by three and a fourth. And why I did that, I don't have a clue. And then I have a piece of Rococo Rose that's five by three and three fourths. And that's going to go on the front. And I probably cut this Whisper White to match this since this is going on the inside. And I'm not doing all the layers on the inside. That's probably why I did that. Anyhow, <laughs> we are not doing any coloring or anything like that. And uh, we're just going to stamp. And we're going to stamp on this smaller piece of Rococo Rose. And we're using our Stamparatus for this. And I already have it set up. And um, I've got things marked on here. And I hope I can remember which I marked for what. <laughs> because I've got more than one marking on this. So I'm thinking this goes here. And I can figure this out. Yep, that's where that one goes. So we're going to, we're going to stamp this in Rococo Rose on this Rococo Rose. And I think it turned out really pretty. And uh, it's different. And I really like it. And I hope y'all do too. I think it turned out really lovely. And I think I just stuck my thumb in it. Anywho, <laughs> so we're going to come over here and we're going to give this some of this rubbing and uh, ink this really good on this Rococo Rose. I love this Rococo Rose color. Is that not pretty? I love it. I love it. Let me get my, my uh, Simply Shammy here and clean this up real quick. Okay, now what we are going to do is we're going to take our inside piece and we're going to, I'm going to set this aside and we're going to move this right down here and we are going to move this right down here. Nope, wrong way. I got it wrong. Let's move it up. I'm thinking it goes right here. <laughs> That's where it goes. That's where it goes. Okay, I told you I'd probably be wrong. <laughs> All right. Now then, we don't have to ink up the whole thing, but sometimes it's just easier. Anyway, we're going. To, this is what goes on the inside. So we're going to get some of this stamp on the inside so it goes with the front and then I'm going to show you a little trick that I did I mean it's just a little trick I did I tried to figure out what I'm going to do I want to stamp on the envelope and I want to use my stamp but the thing with my envelope is how am I supposed to do that I think that's where this one comes in play. Let me see. I'm trying to figure this out. This is the way it goes. This is how it goes. This is the way I'm going with it. Let me see. I think. I've got to try and remember. Did that this is this the way I did that? I don't think so. I think I came down here and put this here. That's how I did it. That's how I did it. I'm going to set that right there. Move that one. We're going to ink up the bottom part of the stamp. Now, <laughs> the Cocoa Rose. Oh, yeah, oh, I know. Just setting my car today and they would be. It's color. 
and ready to use. Cool, Debbie. That is awesome. I can't wait to see it. Hi, Winnie. I'm sorry, y'all. I probably will miss your comments because of uh, not having my laptop. Yep, here we go. This is how I did it. Now, this is the bottom part of the um, stamp. And when you flip it over, it's the bottom part. But, you know, that can be a top, too. It doesn't have to necessarily be just the bottom of the stamp, you know, like this. It can be a top, too. I think that looks good. So it works. It gets me my design on my envelope to go with the stamp on the inside and the stamp for the sentiment. So we're going to put that there in my chamois. Clean my stamp off. That right there, that right there. We're going to move this back up here. And we're going to set this off to the side over here. And we're going to put this card together. Now, that's all the stamping except for the thanks. And uh, I think we'll go ahead and stamp the thanks while we're at it. And um, I'll tell you, I got my first two orders from the new catalog today. And uh, when Johnny brought in the little box, I looked at him and I said, is that all they delivered? And he said, oh, no. <laughs> the big box was he did not bring in first. The big box weighed 28 something pounds. Because whenever I took it off the kitchen table to bring it in here, I just thought, oh, my gosh, somebody. <laughs> the smaller box weighed six, I think. Anyway, and I still did not get everything. I've got another order coming in Friday that has got uh, some a few just a few things, but there's some other things I'm going to have to order. I swanee thought I got everything, but I obviously didn't. So that means I've got to make another order. <laughs> I may wait, probably wait until uh, the catalog goes live. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Anyway. Here we are. We're going to line this up. Get this where I hope you can see. And I learned something from Robin. She said kind of angle these and you get a crisper um, cut from it. So that's what I've been doing. And I think she's right. But why wouldn't she be? She's been doing this a lot longer than me. <laughs> but you know, we're never too old to learn new things. So I love to learn new little tips like that. So, any hoodles, there it is. I love that die. Just love this die. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our dauber and we're going to sponge around this. Oh, let me show you what I got for my daubers. I did have them in zippy bags. Yeah, a little snack size zippy bag for each one. But I got this. <laughs> it has I have a spot for all of them and two extra spots. Well really uh one, two, three, four, five extra spots because I skipped a spot. This is this is for Coco Rose here. I skipped a spot between each group. This one has the ten, but then um well the nine and then the color groups here. And I skipped one so I know what's my color groups. And these are the ones for the colors I have not used a dauber for yet. But I've got a dauber for every color. I am so excited. <laughs> and I love it. And it takes up so much less room than that um, zippy bags, you know what I'm saying? Yep, yep, yep. I love it, love it, love it. So, you know, anything that help me save room and be more organized... And uh, I will never show y'all show y'all behind me here <laughs> because it is not organized. It's just over here in my crafty area. More, I want to organize this other space. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to get a wild hair and I'm going to get it all cleaned out. That's something on my pad, and uh, then it's going to look so awesome. I uh, inked that up a little more than I intended, but that's okay. I'm not going to fret over it, that's for sure. All right, now then, uh, let's see. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Yeah, I'm trying to get my thoughts in place. Now, I did not put a sentiment on the inside, and I had no intentions of putting one, and I did a little smudgy there. 
because this is a thank you card and I want to have plenty of room to write thank you and and uh, why I'm thanking you and I just wanted plenty of room on it so I did not put sentiment or anything on the inside and that's okay you don't have to you know what I'm saying so there we are there's that layer and then we're going to put this layer and we'll be through with the inside almost but we'll finish up the inside in a few I'll show you <laughs> because there's one thing I forgot to no never mind I didn't forget but right there they are I told you da 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 I did some training this morning. I watched some training videos on, on my demonstrator website and did laundry today. Yeah. Yesterday I played in, in here in my crafty room and uh, designed this card and two others. And that way, and then I'll tell you what, well, ago I was hunting something and found two other cards I had designed and I'd, had set aside and thought, oh my gosh, I totally forgot I had these. <laughs> you have, I, I'm sure y'all have never done that, have you? <laughs> Arranging each dauber and spot marked with the color it is. Oh, that's cool, Debbie. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, there is that one. And then we've got our smaller Rococo Rose. And we're going to put that right here. Now, there. Dimensionals. You know, I'm not getting to get by without using some dimensionals. I have to. I have to. This has to be popped up. Can't be anything other than... And so I'm going to put one right there, one right there, and I can't have no saggy, so I'm going to put one there and one there. <laughs> yeah, I have to have plenty where we won't have no saggy. So, and I honestly do not know what time it is because with my phone on record, it doesn't... Uh, show me the time so I'm not sure what time it is and then we're going to sit this right here right there like that now I'm a piercing tool because we're going to take these frosted epoxy drops and we're going to put a big one right here in the middle of this flower it's not big enough for this one so i'm going to put it in the middle of that one then i'm going to take uh one of these and i don't think i'm going to have enough these right here for some reason or another did not do right whenever they did those so i can't use them and this one almost didn't i think i will put this one up here and then I used that another one that size, but I need one for the inside. What can I use on the inside? Oh, never mind. I will be fine. I will be fine. But this one right here, because I used this and put it in the middle of this flower. So I'm perfect. Perfect. I just need to order some more. <laughs> All right. So here is our card. I really like it. Here's the first one that I made in the inside of it and uh, came up a little further with that, but that's okay. It does not matter. I think I, I really enjoyed this. I really, really like this card. Oh, I'm about to case this for an anniversary card. Oh, that's fine, Jesse. You go right ahead. Hey, Ray Lynn. Everybody, this is Ray Lynn. This is my granddaughter. Yeah. She is one of my grandbabies. Yeah. Thank you, Barb. I'm glad you like this. I really, really like it. I think it turned out really well. I'm pleased with it. This, you know. <laughs> so, um, hi, Mike. If one of y'all tell me what time it is, we may have enough to do another card because I've got one that's really another quick card too. So if y'all tell me what time it is, let me see if I have enough time. Um, 
Debbie, don't tell me what time it is at your house. Sure, you're. <laughs> you just reminded me. You get two anniversary cards made. <laughs> Jesse, what time is it? Okay, we're going to be using our stamparatus for this next card too. All right, seven twenty. Thank you, Debbie. That's my time. All righty. I have made used this stamp before. I love this stamp. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to use this for my back. Um, this is a super quick card also. And uh, this is Garden Shed. I love this stamp set. It makes me think of my mama. Yeah. So, I love this. It just I just wanted to use this. I used this. I used thanks. I used a... Um, Layering square. I'm going to use it a little differently. Use uh, Smoky Slate. That is the only color. Use the uh, Detail Trio. I have my thanks on an A block. We're using uh, Whisper White Thick. Eight and a half, five and a half. Scored at four and a quarter. I'll go ahead and give it a crease here. And... Um, my phone photo, I know. I'm sorry, I'm off camera. So, anywho, this one is going to go this way. Now, this piece of, of cardstock is too big that I intended for it to be. So, oh man, my, side, my magnets liked each other too quick, too much. But I am, I'm, there's a reason I'm going to do it this way. I just wanted plenty of room. I didn't have to worry about anything. And I'm going to stamp it like that. And I'm going to cut it down. So that, that'll be okay. That's why I'm going to do it super big. Because I intend to cut down. And we're using uh, Smoky Slate layers. These are um, 5 and 3 eighths by 4 and 8. I have a um, uh, 4 by... <sighs> Four by two and three fourths. I have a scrap. That's what I'm going to stamp my thanks on. And um, and then this piece right here is five by five by eight and a half. It does not have to be that big. I just wanted oodles of room. And like I said, I'm going to cut it down. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to ink up our garden shed. I love this. My mama had a garden shed. It wasn't this big. It was a small garden shed. And it had a little porch on it. Yeah, this one doesn't have a... It's got a step on it, but it doesn't have a little porch on it like my mama's. And I think I have uh, smoky slate fingers now, but that's okay. <laughs> and, uh, okay. Let me close this up for a moment. Let me get me a baby wipe. I don't want to get this on my um, cardstock. Let me get some of this off. All right, now, then. Dry my hand on my shorts. It'll be okay. Now, then, I'm going to do it like this right here. Now, I do not have an exact measurement for this whenever I cut it down. I just cut it down the way that it where I would just put it into my trimmer and say, okay, I like that. And um, and that's just how I did it. So there's not really a measurement to this. So you can kind of cut it down any way you want to. You can cut it any size you want to. You don't even have to cut it like I do. I mean, you know, this is, you make it yours if you want to try this. And um, then we are going to, all right, now, <laughs> You see if I can remember how I did my envelope. Uh, not my envelope. Yeah, I did. My envelope and the inside piece. Where's my inside piece? Here it is. Has to go this way. And you know why it has to go this way? Because this is the direction we're going with our card. Let me see if this is how I did it. That's not how I did it. Uh... All right, let me see. Let me think on this just a moment because what I'm wanting is this right here. And what I did was this right here. All right, 
this is what happens when I don't write down, whoops, that's too far down, precise instructions to myself. I think, oh, I can remember that. That'll be easy to remember. <laughs> yeah, right. Not. I just think it is. Okay. I'm going to get this in just a moment. It's going to be perfect when I do. Okay, we're going to come down just a smidge more. This is how I figured these things out, guys. I mean, you know, whenever you're doing this and you want to do different things, you've got to figure them out yourself. And you got to figure it out. How would I do that? How does it go? Let's see how that will work. And you just figure them out. And you make mistakes. I mean, you know, I make mistakes all the time, which is okay. I mean, that's how you learn. So now we're just going to stamp this. And I want this right here on the edge. Just like that. Now, this is a little further over on here than it was on my original, but that's okay. It, that does not bother me whatsoever. But now, because I wanted this same cut on my envelope, um, I'm moving this down. I'm trying to figure this out from my envelope I've already done. So y'all saw that. <laughs> Okay, I did it on this side instead of on the other side. Now, let me tell you why I did it on this side instead of the other side. Because any residue that may be on this stamp that did not get cleaned off very well would be stamped over here and, uh, you know, over here on my uh, envelope. And I did not want it like that. So that's why... I did it on this side of the envelope. Now, I honestly do not know if I can mail it this way. Something I'm going to have to ask my post office friend. <laughs> can I mail it with something printed over here? Because I honestly don't know. I might not can. You know? I don't know. But anyway, I love this. Is this not cool? <laughs> I love this. And the thing is, I'm not coloring any of this. You do not have to color any of your stamps if you do not want to. And they will make beautiful cards. This is simple stamping. And anyone can do simple stamping. Anyone can do any kind of stamping. But I'm going to tell you, simple stamping is so simple. <laughs> it's just that. It's ink, paper, and cardstock. That's all it is. Ink, paper, and cardstock. So we're going to put our cardstock down for our layers real quick and then we're going to cut our uh, stamp down to put on the front and this is so super simple and it makes a really nice oh uh, there it is couldn't figure out what i had done with this it makes a really nice thank you card. And I see I didn't put anything other than stamp that on the inside. I did not put a sentiment stamp or anything on. Oh, excuse me. I am so sorry. Here. The uh, only thing it's going to be have on it that I stamped in the way of any sentiment is the thanks on the front. And uh, it's really quick and simple. You could molt. You could I'll get the word out in a minute. You can mass produce this and it would not take long at all because you can leave your stamp on your stamparatus and uh, and just continuously stamp these right here. You can stamp ever how many you need for how many cards you wanted to make. Then you could come back and you could stamp your inside how many cards you want to make. Then you could come back and stamp all of your envelopes for how many you need. And it would not take long at all. And you could mass produce this in no time. You know? And then have all of your thank you cards that you might need for whatever. Whatever. There. Now, is that not cute? <laughs> love that font. Yes, I do. Okay, now we're going to close this up because we do not need this now. And we are going to get our big shot over here. And we're going to cut this out real quick. And then we're going to take our trimmer and work on this. And let me shut that drawer. It's in my way. Okay. 
I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. Just use and use this little square, and I'm going to pull it down to right here. Now, y'all have seen me do this with the stitched uh, dies before. I've never done it with one of the square ones. thought I'm going to give it a try because I wanted a square, but I wanted to make it into a rectangle, but I didn't have the right size, you know what I'm saying? Didn't have the right size. <laughs> I want this to stay in here. And so I thought, okay, I'll make my own. I'll just make my own. This is wanting to be aggravating. Because I need to get this edge on the inside of this groove here. See, now it's there because it's not moving. So, now, run it through again, and uh, throw this over here out of the way. Well, I'm not going to throw it. I'm just going to set it. <laughs> Probably the best. And look here. Now, you have got you a small um, Thanks. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Just the size I wanted. So I'm going to lay that right over here, out of my way. And we're going to get, I wanted to get my trimmer. <laughs> and I am going to take it, and I am going to trim this down. What I'm going to start with is this side over here. What I am doing is, there is a groove right here. And to me, this groove is going to be my guideline. I don't know, you probably cannot see it. Um, but anyway, here is the groove that cuts. And then there's a little, when you come across here, there's a little groove right here. I can just run my nail up it. And I'm going to take the closest, the first thing in my stamp. I'm going to line it up with the edge of this groove right here on this side. And I'm going to trim that off. Then I am going to come, I'm just going to go ahead and come around on this side. And I'm going to put my finger in this groove again. Well, here is the side that I, I want to trim it off that size. This is why I'm saying I don't have a size for this. I just have a, uh, this is how I wanted it and where I wanted to cut it at. This one, let me find the longest, there, right there. I'm going to trim it off right there. And then I'm going to do that again at the top. And then I'll be through. So here's my groove. There's the tip top of the shed, and I'm going to trim that off right there. Now, I don't like that it's squared off like that. So, what I am going to do is take my um, detail trio punch. I'm going to take my corner rounder here, and we're going to round these corners, which makes it look better to me. And uh, I like it. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do with that now we're going to take the front of our card and we're going to take our glue and we're going to glue this down I'm not popping this up I know surprise surprise probably look fine popped up but I didn't want to pop this one up but I do not want to I'm not centering this I am not having it all the way over to the right side either. I'm going to have it a little closer to the top, a little closer to the right, but have some uh, space there. I'm not going to have it all the way at the bottom. I'm not even in this out here and here and here. I'm just doing it like that. Then we're going to take our uh, thanks. And, of course, dimensionals and yes two of these dimensionals fit on this <laughs> line up the flat side right here at the edge line up this flat side on the edge over here and there is no saggy to this <laughs> if you put it right in the middle you got a both sides going few and I didn't want, want that so you know how I don't like sag so here we go and now we're going to set this right here. Now, how much more simple could you get than this? I mean, really. 
How much more simple could you get? Look at there. Let's move this out of the way. So, fast, quick, simple card that anyone can make. And I'm going to tell you what I forgot to do. I forgot to emboss my background. Duh, duh, duh. I embossed the background of this. I used... What did I use? Oh, the subtle embossing folder. I am so crazy. And it makes a difference. Can you tell? Hey, Marty. And now I have messed this one up. I'm going to have to make this one again. <laughs> I have to have the subtle embossing on the back. But anyway, here is my card. <laughs> Alrighty. So, here's the one we made. This is the one I already had. And, uh... Because it's got the embossing. But now I did not do the embossing on the inside. So uh, there you go. So here's our second card. Here's our first one. Let's see. Let's do this away. Well, I am going to mess up my envelope. We'll do it this away. And here's our second card that we did. Our first card we did. And, uh, our envelopes and there you go so that is it for tonight Whew. <laughs> uh, thank y'all guys i thank you so much so glad y'all like these i don't tell you i just love them and see i have one more card to do i can do next monday see i'm ready i am prepped in fact in those two other cards uh that i had found that i had prepped so, I am ready for three weeks. How about that? <laughs> but, you know, next week I am probably going to use one of our new stamps because I'm going to show you one of them that I got that I definitely want to use. Summer Days. This is a host set, and you know how I love trees. So, next week we're probably going to do trees. And there's one more thing else I want to show y'all that I got today that I am so in love with. And I'm sure all of you got this. And I don't know if you have played with this or not, but I did. Because anytime I get some new punches, I have learned to try them out and make sure they punch like they're supposed to. Because uh, one time I got one and it didn't. And so I've got where I do that now. So we'll take, this is the new Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. Pick a punch and oh my gosh the tops are different on um, two of them you use a one one inch here look at that <laughs> then i just turn it around let's try the other end is that not cool three-fourths of an inch and i mean i'm gonna tell you it makes it look different the different sizes. You got this today, Barb? It is awesome. I, I love this. I'll tell you, I played and played and played earlier with this. <laughs> look at that. Is that not cool? But my favorite is the half inch. Oh, my gosh. Look at this half inch. It is totally awesome awesome is that not the cutest thing <laughs> i love it and can you imagine and i've learned if i don't do it right i won't get it in there and, and can you imagine this in colors oh my gosh this is so totally awesome i love this punch <laughs> i love it love it love it but then i love everything i got today and uh everything i know that we're going to be able to order starting june the third i am so ready to get into the annual catalog and order some other things you think my gosh sharon you haven't even played with the stuff except for the punch that you know you got today and i'm thinking yeah i want other things but there's so many awesome things in this new catalog that I want to have and I want to get and that I want to do um, cards on on our Monday evening uh, lives. And I just want to get them and play with them. You know what I'm saying? I know that I'm not the only one that feels that way. <laughs> So, anywho, y'all, thank y'all so much for indulging me on Monday and allowing me to rest and uh, coming and watching me this evening. 
and I sure appreciate it, and I'm glad you have liked my cards, and um, good Lord willing, I will be here Monday evening at 7 Central, right here on the Praying Stamper, and I do have one prayer request. We have a young lady at church. Well, I don't know. I, she's younger than me, so she's a young lady. Anyway, she has MS, and she had a severe seizure yesterday. They admitted her into the hospital here in Coleman and today transferred her to UAB in Birmingham and uh she is having problems her it's worse than what they thought it was her ms is really getting bad and it is causing other problems with her body so her name is angie and i would love for y'all to pray for her and uh i know she's down there by herself because we know that they won't let anybody else in and uh i can't imagine that you know being there by the, herself and um so please just pray for her. Her name is Angie. And I know that they would appreciate that and covet your prayers. And guys, I love you. I thank y'all so much for coming. I'm so glad y'all did on an odd night. And uh, good Lord willing, I will see y'all next Monday evening right here on the Praying Stamper at 7 Central.